Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program to find out factorial of a given number using a recursion. In the previous video, we are already discussed about C program to find out the GCD of two numbers using a recursion. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel. Now we have to discuss about how to find out the factorial of a given number using recursion in C programming. First, we have to declare the header files hash include stdio.h standard input output header file. Next, second header file is hash include coniv.h console input output header file. Okay. Next, we have to declare the function prototype before the main function. So, int factorial of int. This line is called as function prototype. It tells to the compiler this function is used in the below program. Okay. Void main. Every C program starts its execution with the main function. So, void main. So, brace begin. What are the variables that we have to declare? We are declaring two variables int i comma n. Okay. i is nothing but loop variable n is nothing but for which number we have to find out the factorial. Okay. Now, CLR SER, so clear screen function. So this function is used for clear the output screen. This function is included in the header file called hash include coniv.h so that we must include this header file. Okay. Next one. Printf enter n value. Enter n value. This n value is read from the keyboard by using scanf function. Okay. So scanf percentage d double quotes n comma and percent n. Okay. N value is read from the keyboard by using scanf function. Okay. Next, I am declaring another variable, that variable called as fact. Okay. In this variable, we are store the result of factorial of the given number. Okay. Now, I am writing fact is equal to factorial of factorial of n. Yeah. So here factorial is nothing but function name, n is nothing but parameter that we are passing to the function called factorial. This, this is called as calling function. Okay. Next. So printf factorial of factorial of percentage d is percentage d slash n double percent comma n comma fact. I am explaining the, this step and this step also after writing the program. Next one get ch next main program is closed. Then we have to write the called function. Okay. 
so int factorial int x int x okay next one if x is equal to is equal to 0 x is equal to is equal to 0 we are returning we are returning 1 uh, return 1 okay if block is closed else we are return return n into factorial of factorial of n minus 1 okay else block close and called function is also closed here we are what is the output we are getting now first so here n is nothing but for which value we have to find out the factorial we are entering whatever the n value for that one we have to find out the factorial okay so fact is a, a variable this variable is used for storing the factorial value of a given number n okay clr scr this is a clear screen function it clears the output screen next one printf enter the n value whenever this statement is executed in the output this statement is printed enter n value so whatever the value we are given for finding out the factorial that value can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function we are entering n value as 5 from the keyboard that value is stored in the variable n okay next line fact is equal to factorial of n here factorial is called as function name and the n is nothing but parameter okay so this line this thing is called as calling function okay so calling function contains function name and parameter list this function contains only one parameter that is n. Okay. This parameter is called as actual parameter. Okay. Now, whenever a function is calling in the main program, the control goes from calling function to called function. So, the called function is there at the outside of the main program. So, main program from this line to this line and uh, this is called as outside the main program. Whenever a function is calling in the main program, the control goes from calling function to called function. Okay. So, here what is n value? n value is read from the keyboard by using scanf function as 5. So, factorial of 5. Okay. Now, this n value is copied into this variable x. Okay. Now x value is 5. Function name is same. The number of parameters here is 1. Here also the number of parameter is a 1. The value of the actual parameter n is copied into formal parameter x. Okay. Now x value contains 5. Okay, this entire thing is called as called function. Brace begin. If x contains the value 5, 5 equal to equal to 0. That is false. Whenever this condition is false, the control goes to else block. In the else block, one statement is there written. So, x value how much here? 5. So, here 5 into factorial of 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is nothing but 4. 
okay now the same function is calling that is called as a recursion okay here what is the function factorial here what is the function factorial so a function called by itself called as a, a recursion okay now x value again it is 4 factorial of 4 we are calling now if 4 equal to equal to 0 so condition false the control goes from else part goes goes to else part in the else part written x into factorial of x minus 1 now x value 4 we are getting 4 into factorial of 3 factorial of 4 minus 1 that is a 3 now x value is 3 again the same function is called factorial of 3 brace begin if 3 equal to equal to 0 that is first the control goes to else block written x into factorial of x minus 1 now what is the value of x 3 so 3 into factorial of 3 minus 1 is 2 okay now x value is 2 again the same function is called okay factorial of 2 brace begin if 2 equal to equal to 0 that is false the control goes to the else block in the else block one statement is the written x into factorial of x minus 1 that means 2 into factorial of 2 minus 1 that is a 1 now x value is a 1 okay again the same function is called so factorial of 1 okay brace begin is 1 equal to equal to 0 false then the control goes to the else block in the else block one statement is there that is to be executed written x into factorial of x minus 1 that is 1 into 1 into factorial of 1 minus 1 that is a 0 okay now x value is 0 the same function is called factorial of 0 okay brace begin if 0 equal to 0 0 equal to equal to 0 condition true control goes to the if block only one statement is there that statement is executed or written 1 okay so factorial of 0 is nothing but 1 one value can be written okay so 1 into 1 is nothing but 1 okay this value can be taken as 1 factorial of 0 is nothing but 1 okay so 1 into 1 is nothing but 1 so this result can be passed to this function okay 2 into factorial of 1 2 into factorial of 1 is nothing but 1 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 okay this result can be passed to this function so now 3 into factorial of 2 is nothing but 2 that is we are getting the result 6 okay now this result 6 can be passed to this one okay so here 4 into factorial of 3 is nothing but 6 so 4 into 6 is 24 okay now this result can be passed to this one okay so now 5 into factorial of 4 is nothing but 24 factorial of 4 is 24 24 into 5 is nothing but 120 okay now this result value 120 can be written from called function to calling function okay 120 is the 120 data type is integer so that we have to write int data type before the function name factorial okay this 120 value can be written from called function to calling function so this 
this function value is nothing but 120. This 120 can be assigned to the variable on the left hand side. That is fact. Now fact contains a 120. Okay. So print as factorial of percentage D is percentage D slash n n comma fact. N value is a 5. Fact value is a 120. Okay. What we are getting factorial of 5 is 120. So 120 is printed. In the place of n, 5 printed. In the place of fact, 120 is printed. So after that, program is terminated. Okay. So here, first 5 into factorial of 4. Next one, 4 into factorial of 3. 3 into factorial of 2. 2 into factorial of 1. 1 into factorial of 0. Factorial of 0 is nothing but written 1. So this value is a 1. So then what we are getting 1 into 1 that is equal to 1. So this value is factorial of 1. This factorial of 1 result can be substituted here. Okay. This value is 1. 2 into 1 that is equal to 2. This result is factorial of 2. Factorial of 2. This value is send it to this part. So, factorial of 2 is nothing but 2. 3 into 2 that is equal to 6. This result can be passed to here. Okay. 6 is nothing but factorial of 3. So, 4 into 6 that is equal to 24. 24 can be send it in the part of factorial 4. So, factorial 4. So, 5 into 4 factorial is 24, 24 into 5 that is equal to 120. So, after getting the 120 value, uh, that 120 value is integer. So, return type is in. The entire result 120 can be sent to the main program of the main program. So, in the main program, so factorial of n is the calling function. This value is a 120. 120 can be assigned to the variable fact. So now here we are printing n value and fact value. Here n value is 5. Fact value is 120. Factorial of 5 is 120 is printed. Now the program is terminated. So in this way we have to calculate the factorial of a given number using a recursion. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, develop Srinivasa Rao. Thank you.